Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade with the Jade Plant and today I will be showing you guys an updated Animal Crossing Island tour. My current island is named Paradise and it's fairy core themed slash simple core themed. I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get into it. So this is me. In game, I'm also Jade. Let's get a little close up with the bubbles. So this me, the cute pink pigtails. And this is a custom design outfit. Isn't she cute? Alrighty, so we're gonna start at the front of the island right at my airport. So as you can see, we have a beautiful airport lobby. Right when you land, we have some magazines. A little vending machine for you a little seating area and then also an ATM because we know those airport snacks to be quite expensive $12 for a bag of chips hand them over um, and then we have my flowers and this is my first Lily of the Valley I ever got so I thought she was special she has to go at the front then after this little bridge we have this beautiful little botanical garden as you can see, I like Nova lights and butterfly models a lot. I do frequent the Treasure Islands often. So this area is right in front of my shops. And I'll show you Nook's Cranny first. Nook's Cranny, we have a little seating area, some groceries, a little grocery bag, and a shopping cart. Maybe you want to go shopping. Maybe you waited three weeks, didn't get your groceries, and now you got to go. I just have a little teddy bear garden down here. I usually switch up this little, oh God. I usually switch up this little square garden for seasonal items. So for Christmas, I'll put a Christmas tree. For Halloween, I put pumpkin patch in there. But right now it's spring, so I just put a little teddy bear garden in there. Um, and as you can see, I do like to decorate with a lot of little items, cushions, food items, Nova lights, shell lanterns. So this path is everywhere on the island, this wildflower path, and I'll make sure to put the code on screen right now so y'all can get this. It's really cute, it's just little wildflowers. Then in front of my Able Sister shop, I put a couple waterfalls, and I have a strawberry milk on a little stool and then also a little bench. You can set it if you're too tired from shopping. And then behind the Able Sisters, I have this little moon path going up to the bridge up here. And this bridge goes to the rest of the villager homes. But before we go up there, I'm going to show you guys, I am going to show you guys my visitor center slash the center of my town. Obviously I can't decorate over here, but, <laughs> but if you come over here, oh my God, we have Lily enjoying this beautiful heart pond. She's such a cutie. She's actually leaving the island tomorrow. <laughs> I sold her. It's okay. <laughs> I am rehoming her to one of my lovely Twitch viewers, but we're gonna go villager hunting on stream tomorrow, so she's gotta go. And I have this lovely beach following up the whole side of my island. She's beautiful. <laughs> Then behind the, what is that building called anyways? Damn, I'd be forgetting everything. Visitor center. Behind my resident services. Then if you go behind the resident services, we have a little tiny library. And here's Sherb's house, the first villager home. He's got a cute little garden that he likes to water and maintain. And we have a little seating area with a fountain. And again, here's resident services and a little pathway up here. And this is Lily's house. A nice little garden. She has some music to listen to and some butterfly models and a mom's cushion. And then up here is Marina's house. Marina is one of my OGs. She's my main baby. I actually have a Squishmallow. That looks like Marina. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? 
That's why Marina has to stay because she looks like my Squishmallow. And then we have a little flower patch over here. I have a shell table. This area I kind of just let go natural. Marina actually really likes to water the flowers over there, so I just kind of let her have it. Then behind Marina's house, we have this pathway. And up here is my house. I have my farm. Isn't she beautiful? Love the farm. Then here's my house. If you come up here, I have this little piano area. And I honestly just put a bunch of random cute stuff. A utility pole and a faucet. What else could you need? A little bench so you can have a view. And of course, a bubble machine. And I have a bunch of hot prawns because I like to catch beta fish and goldfish and they're usually in the little ponds. Oh, my bad, sir. Just below my house, I also have a little, little garden, potted plants, and of course my gyroids. <laughs> I have a little moon area. This area is like easily one of my favorites on the island. Y'all cannot tell me that's not beautiful. That is beautiful, look at this. I freaking love it here. Okay, then we have this path that goes right to Miss Maple's house. Maple has a little bakery, lots of little cakes and goodies. And then Maple's neighbor is Miss Coco, and I give Coco a more rustic and minimalistic style house area because her house is similar. That's Miss Coco's house. And then we just have a little waterfall pond. This leads up to a couple more houses. As you can see, I used a snail model, Nova Lights, and one of the new vine chairs that came with the 2.0 update. And then we have a little birch colored bench. I believe it's the log bench. No, Dom. <laughs> He's a track star, oh my God. All right, and then if you go up these stairs, we have Dom's house. Since Dom is a jock, I gave Dom a yoga studio. I used beach towels for the yoga mats, and I used some bamboo baskets. I have some music playing, an incense burner, a bunch of the different plants like monstera and cacao tree, and then we have a diffuser and a yoga ball, and then of course I gave him the barbecue. Because homeboy looks like he likes to eat. Like the amount of times I've caught him eating like a popsicle, ice cream, a donut. He's always snacking. So I decided to give him a barbecue. And then we have a little seating area. This looks like a little, I don't know, healthy smoothie. <laughs> um, I think you drink those after yoga, right? And then we just have a little, little bath fountain. All very cute. And then this is Sasha's house. I just got Sasha yesterday. We went villager hunting and I think Sasha took me like 50-ish nook miles. I got super lucky. There's Sasha's house. Sasha has a little um, ice cream parlor or like frozen yogurt parlor and a little ukulele, a seating area. And then of course the, the yogurt machine. We have my secret beach and Dom's doing his zoomies. And then this is my favorite part of the island, like by far. It's my gyroid SPCA. This is where all the little lost gyroids go when they don't have a family. <laughs> so much chaos. As you can see, I give them a lot of like the pet items. Like we have the cat tree, a couple cat beds, some cushions. And then I just put them on display using different tables that I had lying around. Like we have a log table, we have the simple wooden tables, a couple stalls in different colors. As you can see, they've kind of like spread outside of the bounds, but I just keep finding them. And I don't have another place to put them. And then I have a couple more over here, right by my little moon pond that just backs onto the secret beach. And again, we have that beautiful wildflower path and a couple of log paths as well. They're so beautiful. All the little details I've left here. Then we have my museum. And right by the museum, I have a little bonsai garden. 
Again, I got this from a treasure island. Um, we have a couple different flowers growing here. A butterfly model, a little mushroom lamp. I think it's so cute. I tried to make this look like a fairy circle with the rocks and all the logs in a circle. I think it's so adorable. If you come up here right behind the museum, we have Celeste's viewing area. And actually, surprisingly, Celeste is up here every single time she's here. I don't know if Celeste is supposed to like go to the highest point of your island to look out, but this is the highest point, so I would assume so. But yeah, she's always up here hanging out. This is easily one of my favorite parts of the island. I have the blossom viewing lamp, a mushroom lamp, and then we have the bunny day tree. Another mushroom lamp in a different color. I have the bamboo shoot lamp, um, the tiny library, a little telescope, and then we have a huge bear. And I believe this is the couch from one of the Sanrio series. And then we also have the crescent moon chair. That one is hiding a little bit. I should probably move that, but... For now it stays then if you come down here we have a little path that leads to drago's house drago gets a whole ramen bar <laughs> i put like all of my zen items down here drago has a little area to do laundry a barbecue area a keyboard and then this beautiful little bamboo china cabinet a little bamboo china set it's so beautiful and then again the ramen bar and then i gave <laughs> gave drago a little beach area i needed to put this pagoda somewhere i don't i think i got that on a treasure island but i was like it's beautiful and then a little little bench because drago is just such a lazy little boy i feel like he likes to nap on the beach and then again i just kept that same pattern down here for the beach Up from Drago's house, right beside it, we have a little fishing spot. Put a little signpost, a bunch of the log stakes. We also have a fountain in the lighter white marble color. I have the big mushroom parasol. And then a natural garden bench. And I also placed a lot of stones and logs in here, kind of to make it look more foresty. I have never caught a fish here because the logs are in the worst spots ever but i think it looks nice so it's gonna stay and then of course i made this little lake here as well it's so beautiful <laughs> not that i've ever caught anything especially with the cherry blossoms y'all look could i sit my character down with the cherry blossoms it looks so nice the waterfalls in this game are always so loud. <laughs> then right beside our little fishing spot, we have Stitch's house. I put some flowers in here, a little sandy path. Then Stitch's has a sandbox, the little rodeo horse, actual garden bench. We have the elephant slide, another utility pole, and then just a little tricycle. And I put a couple public benches out here too, because Stitch's is always hanging out. Then right across from Stitch's house, we have Bones' house. And Bones has a very simple home. Normally has a little kitchen, but for right now I just gave him some flowers and a little bamboo shoot lamp because I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to leave his house here. So we have this and I usually put um, random hybrid flowers I need breeding as well as my money trees up here. And then if you go here, we reach Able Sisters. Again, here's the same path right down to Able Sisters. Love this path so much. And then right from Stitch's home, if you follow this path, we get right back down to my resident services. Big old circle. So I'm gonna give you guys a little map tour. This is Paradise Island. I've been playing since release and I have 730 hours in the game so far. So not as much as some other creators, but I feel like that's still a lot. <laughs> so there's me, Jade, then we have Maple, Drago, Sherb, Stitches, Sasha, Lily, Marina, Coco, Dom, and Bones.
and I kept my waterfalls natural. I actually had a really elaborate waterfall design and then about five months ago, I decided to restore my island back to its original state. So I rebuilt all of the hills exactly how they were and I rebuilt the waterfalls and rivers exactly how they were. Um, other than the heart ponds that I've added, everything terrain wise has been restored so i'm pretty happy with my work it took maybe like 12 hours to restart all of the rivers but i really like the simple look i like the natural look so yeah there's paradise island thank you guys so much for watching my island tour today this has been a long time in the making i swear every single stream i was like y'all we're gonna be done i'm gonna film the tour false i hope you guys love the island tour so much thank you guys so much for watching it um, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and drop a subscription below. I would much appreciate that. Also, if you did like this video, I do stream full time on Twitch. My Twitch handle is here as well as it will be linked below. I also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you'd like to follow those as well. I play Animal Crossing, Sims 4, Stardew Valley, and Minecraft all over on Twitch. Thank y'all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!